Hello, my name is Ertun Gecir. I'm a tour guide in Turkey. Today we are visiting one of the best preserved temples of the ancient world, the Temple of Apollo in Didyma. It was one of the biggest temples of the ancient Greek world. And its oracle was the second most important after the one in Delphi. There was a temple dedicated to Artemis, the twin sister of Apollo, in this area. That's why the place was called Didyma, which means twins in ancient Greek. The first temple that was built here in the 8th century BC was very small and simple. In the 6th century BC, started construction of a much larger temple that was destroyed in the 5th century by Persians. A construction of a new temple started with donations of Alexander the Great. It continued for centuries, but was never completed. So when you look at some of these massive columns, you can see that they remained unfinished. The temple was anyway used and kept its importance during Roman times and was later converted into a church. Didyma was not an ancient city, but a worship place. This is the sacred road between the ancient city of Miletos and the temple of Apollo. Pilgrims and visitors were using this road to come to the temple, especially during the festivals or the celebrations dedicated to their god Apollo. Along the road there were many fountains, baths, little shops where people can buy little souvenirs, the statues of Apollo, or offerings to their temple. Very similar to souvenir shops in touristic places today. People have always been interested in their future. Today they go to fortune tellers. In ancient times they were coming to the temples like this one. Aristocrats and kings were coming here before taking some important decisions, for example before going to a war. Ordinary people were also coming to ask simple questions about their health or family lives. All of them were bringing offerings trying to satisfy the priest and Apollo, but priests were not always happy with their gifts, so sometimes Apollo was not at home for them and they had to come again. We are in the central part of the temple now, where only the priests could enter. People believe that water was sacred here, and ancient records describe mystic vapors rising from the earth. But one common thing about all Apollo temples is that they were founded on a fault line. Scholars think water running underground could have carried gases up directly to the priest causing a condition similar to a trance. Once they were in that condition, they could give very creative answers to the people. I hope you enjoyed this short video. 
and the next one will be about the ancient city of Miletus.